Hey there, felons, miscreants, and otherwise unaware jerks. Uh, this is David on David's Brain, and welcome to the first part of our Let's Play of Sam and Max Save the World for the PS4 on PS5. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, or get you to my Patreon, link's description at the bottom. Otherwise, I'll sick Max on ya. Yeah, things have been getting a little bit, uh, tense around here, so... I figured that yeah, uh, I got this. I got this and uh, and season two of uh, Telltale Seven Max series on uh, uh, like a little while back. So might as well crack it open and go over count. Uh, uh, might as well regale you all with the utterly captivating tale of the freelance police. Now I haven't played. I never played the original Seven Max at the road, uh, but I did see the cartoon on Fox Kids way back then. Uh, don't remember a whole lot of it, but I'm pretty sure it was at least somewhat entertaining. Well, definitely uh, caught enough interest to me go, uh, for me to go get the original two seasons on, on the Wii back in the day, and the Devil's Playhouse hopefully coming around uh, sometime before the heat death of the universe. So, uh, let's go and take a look. And yeah, this is like one of the few game com uh, video games that uh, video game companies that you know I actually consider to be funny. All right, game set. Uh huh. Yep, subtitles on and backgrounds on, just so uh, yeah, accommodate everybody, and also uh, also probably spoil a whole bunch of twists for a game that's over ten or so years old. And I'm sure somebody would complain about it. All right, let's get started here. And yep, we got ourselves six episodes uh, of Mad Cap and Sandy to get through. Uh, starting off with the uh, with the first adventure of the Freelance Police. Culture shock. The former child stars in the Soda Poppers TV show are wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood. But there is, uh, but this is no ordinary tale of child stars got astray. Uh, but this is no ordinary tale of child stars got awry. Yeah, a lot less drugs. And uh, depression and... Uh, or showing up on Robot Chicken. Uh, there's a dark force behind the Poppers' baffling antics. Using only their wits and a slew of heavy household objects, it's up to Sam and Max to save the day. We're doomed! So let's get uh, let's get this show on the road. I really hope they do. Now, will some of this humor be dated? Eh, probably, but hey, it's 2006. They could have predicted the future back then. I mean, who do they think they are? Hideo Kojima? And I'm still wondering if this is somehow more or less insane than Metal Gear. Alright, uh, episode one, Culture Shock. Quit moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, yeah, but it's so time. small. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Yeah. Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Swiss? Bah! Ordinarily, I hate is the true way. Extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd mm. you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Uh -huh. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Well, it is cheese, so let's see. Should be somewhere around here. All right, use the uh, right stick to select an object. Press the X button to interact with it. Uh, this made so much more sense when it was just the Wii motion controls. Oh, God, I actually praised the Wii motion controls. Hell really has frozen over. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. 
Well, so his memory was clotted, cluttered, and kind of hard to squeeze out. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. Well, give it a few minutes, and we'll sure uh, we'll probably go get those good times back, and a lot louder. Maybe next time we'll get to, uh, get the cops from like fifteen states. One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Well, I mean, how are they supposed to know? Uh, well, Max, it's easy to go and mistake eyeballs for the dark board. I mean, come on. Anybody can make that mistake. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Uh, humid. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise. Um, is it in the closet? Yeah, no, see, this is the kind of humor I can bounce off of. It is. Ooh! We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Uh, where is it autographed? Oh, maybe, uh, maybe he wrote it on the knuckles. <laughs> hey, Max. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? Uh, you got any Swiss cheese, old buddy? You bought all that cheese and not one block of Swiss? I don't like Swiss. It's got holes in it. You get less for your money. Very true. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're literally paying for stuff that's been hauled out. I mean, come on. And besides, Swiss is really all the good. Sharp cheddar. Like I said, sharp cheddar or GTFO. Or maybe Brie or Munster or Havarti. And, oh, great. Now I want cheese. What do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. Hmm. Let, uh, let me see. Uh, which governor? Oh. Uh, Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I think you mentioned something about uh, turning this whole office into a micronation. Uh, you just need to get the right paperwork and uh, find the right uh, right official's kids. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Oh, right. Fair enough. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Hmm. That way you can hold more guns. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah, hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. Well, why don't you just get rid of daylight savings altogether? I mean, it's, it's completely useless. Oh, I feel so all alone because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. You truly are the hero we deserve, Max. That rat said he specifically wanted Swiss cheese, or he won't give back our phone. Yeah, well, rats are stupid. Well, yeah, but so are you, and yet we listen to you, so... You bought all that cheese and not one block of Swiss? I don't like Swiss. It's got holes in it. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Ah. Does it feel drafty in here? Hey, you? you're the one... Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Wait, you actually want to work? Let's see what else is around here. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Good point. Yeah, yeah, you, see, you already made it into a collage. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? A I don't bowling know. Bowling ball, of course. Oh. All right, well, we got a bowling ball. Ah, hmm. uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Hmm. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount. Let's see here. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which ah. is why I haven't tried it. Ah, true enough. No comment. Uh, was he playing a game of hangman but forgot about the hangman? Hmm. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Ugh. Oh, God, they actually still have VCRs. Ugh. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam! Put it back! All right, fine. Yeah, that fixed it. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, 
Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. Mm. I'll take two. Well, definitely seems like some kind of spectrum. Anyways. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Hmm. This might come in handy. <laughs> Boo. Do again. Well, look, we're going to be... Oh, uh, look, we got to uh, at least like six more episodes just on this season alone, Max. We're going to go through a lot worse. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. I mean, come on, plants? Uh, uh, yeah, come on. You want water? Get it yourself. Plants are just so freaking lazy. Mm. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Well, uh, at least it's... Uh, yeah, from the looks of it, definitely looks like scat poetry. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Aw. No dice. Aw, keep digging in there, Sam. You might find a penny. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. <laughs> You're a hole. Hmm. I never travel without my trusty firearm. Uh, like any hot-blooded American. My bowling ball has Lou engraved on it. Again, who's Lou? Boxing glove is just the thing for violence on a crisp evening. Ah, yep, uh, good old-fashioned pugilism. Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Ah. All right, reach for it, cheese. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no, the cheese was innocent. Innocent? I think not. Innocent? There's only the, uh, there's only uh, there's only the guilty and uh, those who haven't been found out yet. Voila, Swiss cheese, or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila. Eh, I can say voila as much as I want. That's not even worth a comment. All right, here you are, you little degenerate. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offer. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I, I, I called anal search. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. Oh, oh, trust me. <laughs> I'll get you to sing like a canary in just a few seconds here. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Oh, really now? Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Eh, it could have been worse. Uh, yeah, no, Max, you went too easy on him. You should have started off with Abba. And maybe went on up to Lip Biscuit. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Amateurs. Oh, you mentioned a headache, eh? You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Uh -huh ho All right, let's go and hang the little rat out to dry. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. He would. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of Ugh. I wish I could unsee that. I wish I could see that. Hello. Yes? 
great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Yeah, he's Around. fine. I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Uh, what's your uh, what's your first favorite feasance? We should probably get down to the corner store one of these days, like the commissioner said. What are we waiting for? A sale? Sometimes the wheels of justice turn slowly, little buddy. And I like to take my time. It feels good to be back in the old saddle, doesn't it? You've been watching too many John Ford movies again. Let's go beat up some thugs. All right, I Let's can buy that. Work. I couldn't agree more. No comment. Let's get to work. I couldn't. Hmm. Let's see, which one? Ah, L2 is run. Okay, cool. Ooh, hole. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. All right, fine. I'll see if the microscopic bacteria develop a civilization to overthrow humanity. Hmm. One way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Never! Hmm, let's see, posters, the DeSoto. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great! I love riding mowers! They're like golf carts with teeth! Ah, especially when you run over the gophers. <laughs> then it just turns fun. The Crosstown Limited. Of course, it doesn't stop anywhere near here. Well, I mean, it does say limited. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Let's see. Lefties. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly! Good times. Yeah, now Max is missing his favorite punching bag. Aside from you, Sam. Uh, you never appreciate it until it's gone. Let's see. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs is... Remind me to... Re hmm. Look, Max, liver and onions are in town. I know! I can't wait! I love when they throw expired meat products at the crowd! Ooh! Alright, so in other words, they go and just raid the local Burger King. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories! Ah. Uh, well, I mean, hey, it's a big hole. I mean, uh, it's not Max's fault that he mistook it for a water cooler. Yeah. All right, so let's check up with uh, the simple person. Uh, Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, I know you! Hey, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda mm. poppers, yeah! Hi, peepers! We loved your show. Know what you're talking about my name is civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist huh uh uh yeah sounds like uh we found somebody here who needs psychotherapy and it certainly ain't the psychotic dog and rat are you sure your name is sybil not peepers absolutely civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist that's me he's trying to pull a fast one sam where's your gun violence is not the answer since when Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. And for once, it's not you. And besides, Max, you're still wrong. 
Violence isn't an answer, it's a question, and the answer is yes. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Ah, maybe your dad thought I'd give you a girl's name to you up. But we see your driver's license or some sort of ID. Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. Uh-huh. All right, fine then, Sybil. Let's see where this goes. How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me think here. Ah, oh, yes, violent tendencies. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal, but you might want to try Brady Culture's Ibo video. It's very soothing compared to regular television. Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! Well, uh, to be fair, it's, uh, anything sounds a lot better than watching, like, the, uh, watching the news. Who's this lady culture person? Brady! Brady culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's all! It's not Sean Penn? No oh. anymore! I'm so disillusioned! Uh, wait, someone greater than Sean Penn? What in God's name is this? What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of ocular exercises! So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. Uh, well, good to know. Enough said. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. Uh, actually, it's not really me. It's Max. And oh boy, have we got a lot to work with him. It's not me. It's Max. Hey! He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit! See? Yes, well, I would recommend Brady Culture's Ibo video for this situation. Good eye health helps combat delusions. I'm a rabbit! Sounds like a piece of work. Oh, oh it boy. is! It is! He's more like an angry marshmallow with teeth. Hmm. Something else has been... Tell me... I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well, then... You might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes, too. I'm beginning to sense a certain pattern to your courses of treatment. Mm. Well, you have to go with what works. Well, at least he hasn't asked us to go and purge our thetans or whatever. Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. Let's see, an obnoxious, formal ch uh, obnoxious delusional former child star who con uh, constantly keeps recommending Brady Culture's videos to me. I think I'm hallucinating. Because you look exactly like the former child star of a 70s TV show to me. How odd! Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Culture's Ibo video. It promotes ocular health and might help with the hallucinations. Is that your solution to everything? It's not mine, it's Brady Culture's. But it may very well be the solution to everything, yes. Alright, I think we're done here. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Hmm... I feel better already. Hmm. Shocking. Impressive credentials. Thank you. Not you. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You eh. baffle me sometimes, Max. His, his mind is not meant for us mere mortals to comprehend. It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. But that means that lunchtime won't be till yesterday. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. Well, hey, whatever keeps you uh, whatever keeps you focused. Oh my God! He's still here. Call a cop. You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately. Uh, wait. Uh, but, but Max is my, my pal. pal. 
you were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. All right, so, yeah, about this uh, uh, Peepers guy here. I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? You the should know. The psychotherapist handbook or the lunatic's handbook? Yes. There's a difference? What's the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. Mm. Some of my favorites. And what about mopery? He what is that? He me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Hmm, well, how can you tell? How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Yeah, we'll give you a shari gun in exchange. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. Uh, that you did. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! Yay! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Alright, hold on a second here. Alright, say ya! I can see you! Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. Ah. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just ah, comes naturally, I guess. Ah, great. So I guess we're dealing with the flash here. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? I think you. I think I might know where that tattoo is. And I still want to keep this monetizable, so I'm not going to speculate. Skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Mm. Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. Hmm. Good question. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Hmm. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Yeah. The times they are changing. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Hmm. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I see uh, corrected. Yeah, fair point. Uh, let's see, what was... Oh, but that Sweetie Todd guy looks so composed. He seemed like a real professional. Can I play with that? No, he drives people crazy. Who? Me! Well, why don't I just take it then? Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa! You're mm. an unfathomable well of something, Max. Yeah, hallucinogenic drugs, baby. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Fair enough. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same could be said for a lot of our friends. Wait, you guys have friends? Well, we gotta go find some way to go distract peepers so we can knock him out. Hmm. Oh great, there's a uh, oh great, there's another one. <laughs> I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Did you, uh, did you lock it from the inside or outside? Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. But yeah, no, you are not forgiven. Whee! Look, Sam, it's another one of the soda poppers. Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh, you made me mess up. 
Now I have to start all over. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Can I get an autograph? Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Eh, well, I haven't seen you once on Robot Chicken, so I don't know. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. Uh, what was your catchphrase again? What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, which you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. Ah. So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes. I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. So I've heard. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Hmm. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. All right, fine. Where can I find They carry them over Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Well, then why don't you just go home and watch it? So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Yes. So, you can... Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time, and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Up, you, up yours, young people! You and your rock and roll eight track tapes! Well, that's nice. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg! It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Me too. Yeah, uh, no, he looks like Disco died and wants horrible vengeance on mankind. Sounds fast. You can... Is this art, or is it advertising? I, I... I'm not... Is there really any difference? Good mm. point, little buddy. Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Hmm. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No. Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that. Too late. I want to do it. Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No. Where? <laughs> Just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Well, then why did you go? Oh, well, well, why aren't you the one bothering Sybil? Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Uh, paint me like one of your French girls. Hey, Specs. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this, but thanks anyway. Um, uh, yeah, no, 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 you're coming with us. Seriously, you're under arrest. Come along quietly and no one gets hurt. Actually, I prefer that you don't come quietly. Must finish painting. Seriously, you're under arrest. Actually, I prefer... Must yeah, okay, I'm sorry to see a pattern here. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Hey, uh, might I take this? Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Hmm. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Slip near? Does it twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Ah, uh, uh, Norse mythology's stupid. 
It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting bloc. It works for locusts. Wow. Uh, uh, that's just padding out the boat. It takes me back to my childhood. It takes me back to my childhood. Uh, good times. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, gum. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do eh? they stay fresh? They don't. Ugh. All right. Well, anyways, let's go see what's uh, uh let's see what's up at Bosco's. I should terror level lower to general anxiety. Eh, give it a few months. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible. You called? It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Huh? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. A munchkin? Oh God, I knew it! Uh, uh, the, uh, the Oompa Loompas have re uh, unionized against Willy Wonka, and now they've exacted his terrible revenge! Any, uh, any convenience store that sells their candies is being, uh, uses a, uses an outpost! Good God! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, oh. it's another one of the soda poppers! Oh, that guy. Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! No, nope, throw him, put him under the jail. Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. Mm. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. Fair enough. I hear that. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. Okay, you bye. Take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I uh, think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. No, no, that's probably just me after one too many burritos. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, Stop help. right there! Hairspray had no part in this. And don't you... That's what you like to believe. And don't you dare. Don't you dare besmirch pastrami, good sir. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. All right, well, fine. But if, uh, but if you don't hear from me in seven days, then I think you're fully authorized to burn those videos. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. Good God. Bosco, you're on your own, you brave soldier. So all this wizard- And abusing his bathroom privileges? That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way! I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. Uh, BTADS? BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep, Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon, you'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead, I dare you. Maybe we will! Hmm. At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. All right, a rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop <clears throat> dropping? Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, uh, shop dumping? Eh. I'm sorry, what was your problem again? My problem is the police on my case have apparently been attacked by brain-stealing aliens. 
<laughs> you have been attacked by brain stealing aliens, haven't you? No, no, only yanking your chain, compadre. Wizard, dumping videos, taking nothing but leaks. Got it. Ah, oh, that's surprisingly coherent for you, Vax. You've actually been paying attention. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Hmm. We want to buy something. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? All right, so don't patronize you, but we will patronize you. What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Ooh, what might that be? What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on Oh, yeah, cheese. And I might have an. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. Oh yes, it's please. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. Uh, all right, let's see it. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Why ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or well, one really big one. You mean? White collar crime drive. Woo! Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. Eh, it works. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Uh, yeah, so much for customer service. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any... Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Hmm. Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Yeah, good, good point. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Let's see. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Hmm. Oh, well, you seem like a nice guy. Nice and crazy, but still nice. How do you get out of that cage anyway? Uh, that's for me to know, and you never to find out. Let me guess. You have a secret compartment in the back. Yeah, uh, that, uh, let's see, that case there of booze and smokes? That's actually just a door. Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Well, thanks. I try. Ah, uh, you're, doing, uh, you're doing the Lord's work. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually, but then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. Eh, I'm guessing that the postal dude's been by here one time too many. Eh. What were we talking about? Alright, well, see you later, Bosco. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Alright, we'll stop you before you kill us all! Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Hmm. A cheese sign on an empty table. The tantalizing promise of cheese crushed by cruel reality. Have you ever seen such cruelty? We have here. Organ trader, self loathing weekly. Oh, let me see that. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Uh, let's see, we have those lotto numbers, right? Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it, because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Well, but good for you. Is that clock correct? Well, it's only got one hand, so probably not. Eh. We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Let's see. Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. 
I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. You dare to deprive this man of cheese? Bosco, you truly are soulless. Well, the world has worn you down, and this is the pathetic custom we're left with. Is such an absurdly extensive background check really necessary among friends? Better safe than dead, that's what I always say. You're worried about death at the hands of a cheese? Listen, pal, you ever been held up at Cheese Point? You ever stare down the shaft of a cheese poised to end your life in a heartbeat? I don't think so. Don't tell me what I should and should not be worried about. Right. Uh, you know what? Forget the cheese. We don't need it that bad. Nothing for us right now. Okay. All right. Later. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you That's say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. I'll bring, I'll bring the double barrel espresso shotgun. And yeah, the reason why you haven't been losing those five pounds, Max, is just you, you just haven't been working hard enough. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. What is this world coming to? <laughs> Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. Hmm. Uh, look, I told you before that, uh, look, I told you just uh, save it at one, but do you ever listen to me? No. What should we do about Wizard and his reverse shoplifting? Unwashed violence is one of my favorite techniques. Do you smell something funny? Like the feet of the Howling Damned? There's a leaky can of aerosol meat in one of the aisles. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I recognized the scent. Be careful not to set fire to anything while we're here. No promises. I'm, uh, no, I mean it. I mean, eh. Well, to be fair, uh, compared to this burning aerosol meat that might actually burn the scent around here. Be careful not to set fire. No pro. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Fair enough. Nothing like a gaggle of security. I'm comfortable with it. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Mmm. Oh, wait, wheatgrass and meatloaf? Ah, uh, I forgot about, uh, forgot about ha habanero pepper last week. I think Missed it's it. the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Mmm. So, wait, uh, do you still get any calls from the Hulk or the Jolly Green Giant? Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Uh, maybe for a special occasion. Not Joe's. They're mine, not Joe's. Boo. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Let's see. Uh, yellow, uh, ketchup, mustard, purple stuff. Ooh, 70D. Buy not Joe's. Free toilet brush with every purchase. Free toilet brush? I'm sold! Used toilet brush. I'll pass. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Uh, a used toilet brush? Now we're talking. Bathroom terror level. Red, extreme terror. Yellow, lots of terror. Green, probable terror. Ah, could you tell us this was made back in 2006? Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh-oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Me too. Hmm. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. 
I got quite a few tongues that way. Well, that explains how he keeps the business afloat. Must sell off the tongues on the black market. Children preserve fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Well, I, he better. I mean, that homeless guy isn't gonna bleep. Uh, that homeless guy is gonna start uh, gonna start sticking up the joint. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. You coward. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. Yeah, what are you doing here? What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. Yeah, we already got one. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Mmm, child stars, eh? Who exactly is... And what kind of... Brady? Ooh, and did you know... Fascinating. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. I'm pretty sure if you don't wear clothes, I'm pretty sure it just sees into your dark black soul. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Ah, right. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Hmm. Well, why don't you just go and leave them in every mailbox? Well, that's nice. What is? Never mind. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. You got Mitch, it. Your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Eh, probably more like a hot fart, but whatever. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks, but I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Hmm. Well, there is a trophy involved, so too bad. Come on, sing the Soda Popper theme song. No, I don't think so. What'll it take to get you to sing that song? We'll be your best friends. No. I mean, we'll be your only friends. Are you sure you won't sing the Soda Popper song? I won't gnaw your leg off if you do it. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Pretty please. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Ugly, please? No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. I promise not to sing along. No. Ah. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. No. Come on, sing the Soda Popper song. Well, okay. <laughs> Little Peeper, Specs, and Whizzer toiling up the soda works. Guzzling with tiny gizzards. Soda fountain special perks. Then they run like human blizzards. More than simple soda jerks. Soda poppers more than jerks. Wow, I feel all clam chowdery inside. More than jerks. Yeah, no, I feel more like borscht. Cold and chunky. Ugh. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. Well, then again, from what I've seen, all three you do, uh, seem to be like the Flash. Oh yeah, probably because of all the sugar you've ingested. I heard your hearts are about to explode like grenades. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. 
Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. An incident, you say? Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Ah, wow, that's unbelievably pathetic. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. That works. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? Please. Wait a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? Yeah, this first I heard of it. From some pretty severe delusions. Yeah, free country. <laughs> Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. Oh, we could. No, we don't have to. We want to. Seriously now, you're... Come on, you don't... No, we don't... Hmm. Have I mentioned I know someone who knows... Doesn't everyone? Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one, thanks. Well, uh, we dealt with all three of them, and hmm, we're gonna have to use some uh, use some old fashioned uh, oh, some old fashioned uh, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, some old fashioned Lucas Arts. Yeah. Well, yeah, these guys did come from Lucas Arts games, so it's oddly fitting that their brand of twisted cartoon logic would be uh, needed to go and solve this dilemma. Huh. What? Oh, oh. Oh. oh! Did you see that? Oh yeah! Attention shoppers. The cheese ain't free. There will be liberation for the Swiss. Really to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest yep. but excruciatingly painful mistake. Hmm. So we're stuck in here so long as we have this cheese. Ooh, cheddar. I have nothing to say about that. Well, why don't you? Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. It's not just spray paint, it's an opportunity. Ah, an opportunity for self-expression, or an opportunity to feel all pretty on the inside. Alright, well, we got the, uh, well, we gotta deal with these three soda jerks somehow, so just gonna save here. And, yeah, next time we're gonna call it a day, because I may, it may have been a long time since I figured, uh, since I played this game, but I still remember how to deal with it like it was yesterday. Eh, whatever. Wait, does that count as cheating? Eh, whatever. Anyways, till next time, folks, this is David on David's Brain. See you when I see ya. Bye-bye.